Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about Fnatic Streak 65 and after the headset and the mouse pad today is going to be quite interesting with their Streak 65 keyboard. So after the intro let's go more into details. First of all, let's do the unboxing. So basically, uh, I'm quite excited, to be honest, to do a review on this keyboard just because um, everything else that I tested from Fnatic, including the headset and the mousepad that I'm still using because it's unbelievably quick when you use a mouse on a different mousepad and when you use it on this one, it's just crazy. But Today we have quite interesting keyboard and this is it guys. This is this is just unbelievable. And it has low profile orange switches. We're going to get to that part later on. But let's see the box content. So you have the quick start guide, which basically shows you all the key functions that you have with pressing the FN button, the function button, and all the possibilities that you could do with this. And at the back here, you have the USB Type-C cable. This isn't a wireless keyboard, so it does have to be connected constantly. So yeah, you know that now. Uh, so the keyboard looks really compact, and I mean, how it wouldn't be since it's a 60% keyboard. 65 basically because it has the arrows and it has here additional uh, buttons on the right side but quite interesting keyboard without a doubt let's start from the bottom you have four rubber pads which keep the keyboard steady and you have uh, a possibility to raise it a bit with additional rubber pads now these rubber pads are basically all in one so I would say when you close the legs uh, it's the same rubber pad just going all around the legs uh, on the side you have a streak logo and you have the Fnatic logo this one actually lights up this one doesn't and of course it's RGB so some key features 65% compact mechanical keyboard ultra fast low profile switches uh, 50 million keystrokes, aluminium metal build, uh, RGB with 8 lightning modes, detachable USB Type-C cable and you have onboard controls. The cable is, isn't braided, which as I said in a couple of videos, it doesn't really matter if it's braided or not as long as it's uh, really nicely uh, flexible. That's the most important, but uh, that's mostly based on your mice instead of a keyboard, so yeah. The cool thing about this cable is it's very subtle in terms that, as you can see, it doesn't have that additional bindings here on the top where the USB or USB Type-C is uh, connected to the rest of the cable. It looks, it looks really cool and really uh, love the design. Now, at the top left corner you connect your Type-C cable and the other side of course goes to your PC. Now usually keyboards tend to, well when we're talking about the RGB and backlight, uh, they don't shine as much as this if we're talking about these softboxes around and then I can't see anything basically when it comes to lightning. But on this keyboard the lights are just insane and as I said the Fnatic logo at the back lights up quite nicely every single key here lights perfectly fine and the cool thing about it since it has the metal body it kind of shines back from it and gives a nice um, feedback when it comes to lights and all the keys are properly lit up and the keyboard is just cool. Now when we're talking about the switches, when you remove the keycap, uh, you actually see it's a Kylie uh, switch at the bottom. But uh, this is something that I think they 
additionally added and changed the switch. Now the Ultimate Esports uh, switch, as they stated, has the maximum speed from just 1mm free travel distance and total travel is uh, 3.2mm switch basically allows you and enables you to do multipress faster than any other switch. The low profile fanatic switch is 35% uh, lower uh, than traditional mechanical switch and uh, it's linear and silent so you only need uh, 45 grams of actuation force. Uh, when we're talking about the keyboard uh, compared to the Mini Streak, D Streak 65 is 48% uh, smaller in volume, 8 mm lower height, and 1.9 times faster actuation, which is compared to the MX Silent Red. Now, when we're talking about the stabilizers, uh, they actually did uh, custom molded stabilizers which come uh, pre-lubricated, uh, reducing rattle, so the uh, bigger keycaps don't actually do any travel on the sides and when you're pressing space nothing actually happens if you press it on the beginning or on the end or in the middle, which is really nice. Uh, and that also improves keyboard acoustics, so basically when you type you don't have any echo at the back of the keyboard basically switch uh, echoing from the body of the keyboard. Now solid aluminium metal build which weights around uh, 420 grams uh, definitely does guarantee uh, durability and quality and some premium finish and some more uh, technical specifications so even though they stated that it's Fnatic speed low profile when you remove it it actually says Kylix because I haven't found a uh, Kylix switch that is the same color and the speed as this one so this might be I don't know a body from Kylix and they actually uh, changed uh, some parts and made it one millimeter actuation uh, distance and 3.2 uh, hole, 3.2 millimeter hole travel to uh, the bottom of uh, the switch. Now, when we're talking about the keycaps, um, I'm quite sure that after a while you'll have at least fingerprints on it. But wiping it uh, regularly, it won't make such a mess on the keyboard, and it will still look nice. I won't argue with that. The cool thing about the whole keyboard is that it's small, you have all the keys that you need for gaming and there's nothing additional to that. This could be your secondary keyboard just for gaming because it's ultra fast and for, FP and for FPS games, uh, competitive games, eSports or whatever you want to add to that part, it definitely does the job. So it's time to listen to Fnatic speed low profile switches and hear how they sound. Now after listening to the sound of the switches, the Fnatic Speed Low Profile switches, I would say the sound is a bit dampened down and it doesn't make that clicky, well of course it doesn't make that clicky sound because they aren't clicky, but uh, still the sound is quite nice. Here's the catch. The keyboard has, if you remove these four buttons, has literally everything you need for competitive esports, FPS games, which is just enough. And I would say that this kind of keyboard with uh, such low profile fast, well, speed switches is just insane for these kind of games. And having a faster response is definitely something you're looking for. Now, the lights are just incredible and something that definitely adds to the whole uh, chassis and the design and everything that you see right here. I have no words basically, I'm really satisfied. 
I'll put the links below for the Fnatic uh, Streak 65 keyboard and Mini if you wish to go with TKL version of course but one thing also the difference is of course with the switches and low profile keycaps compared to the uh, Streak Mini so guys there you go that's it for today check out the links below for maybe some more info and definitely for the links on where to buy it because this is something that You'll definitely like if you're aiming for a sm small form factor keyboard, which is quite nice. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Comment your thoughts below on what kind of keyboard you actually have. And uh, will you be considering something like this? Going with uh, gaming keyboards and going with low profile uh, silent switch. Well, they are kind of silent switches, but still speed switches. And of course, to see future content, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.